Hey there, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Magnum Pi. I'm here with Teku, Golgotha, Vahilo, and Dark Templar. And we are Initiative Zero. And this is Rifts. And uh, we're happy that you could join us. If you have any comments, please toss them down below. Join us on our Discord. Um, hit the like, subscribe. You know the drill. If you haven't done it already, please do it. Uh, it really helps the channel out. And we'd love to hear from you. So when we last left our group, we had... Uh, the group head to a ley line so that Portland could meditate and they could spend some time recovering some PPE, some ISP, or just kind of getting their heads around in a plan. And so it will have been four days and I'm just going to uh, kind of fast forward the time there because nobody wants to sit there and watch Portland meditate for four days. And we will see what kind of conversations happened during that time. So Portland, we spent some time with your character there. Um, picking some spells that you got. So I'm going to turn things over to the group here. Which of you guys, I don't know, want to go first? Uh, Lex, you and the and the two Psy Stalkers camped a little bit further from the ley line just because it's uh, it really disturbs your senses and it gives you a headache. So I was just going to say, over the course of the four days with, uh, with Sly and Rasputin and Old Jack, um, I just kind of want to chat with a plan... Um, whatever their plan is to kind of go after, you know, he, him. Um, I know old Jack just wants to go in and steal stuff, but, you know, if, if that kind of goes south, what's the plan for actually trying to take him down? Is that even possible? Um, and kind of whatever from there. All right. So <clears throat> old Jack will have come and sat with you and the two, uh, Psy stalkers, and he'll say that what he really wants to do is recoup his loss, but he really wants to get even with whatever this thing is. If he can take it out, he's going to take it out. Um, you know, he's hoping that along the way, you'll be able to acquire more things that will help take out whatever it is that this is. He doesn't uh, know exactly what it is, but... If it's in a cave, he could imagine that setting off some explosives could very well bring the cave down right on top of it. I don't know. Given the uh, given the advancements of what those things were that came at us, I mean, I, I'm kind of going to agree with what Senate said a couple of days ago. If that's what he's capable and if that's what he's willing to send out after James, what do you think he has guarding his place? Well, to hear James T. tell it, uh, he knows a secret way in that uh, he doesn't know about or expect, which means you could get the jump on him. I don't know. I feel like it might be a little bit of rope-a-dope. Could be. Or maybe he knows where he's fully aware of it and kind of just plays the game. So that when somebody uses it, he he already has it set up and he can ambush. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. doesn't seem that Jimmy's got any love for him, though. Wow, I just figure for as, for as big as this guy apparently is, nobody's ever heard of him. Other, other than James. Well, if he's that powerful and he wants to keep himself hid and secret, I'd imagine he can do it. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. All right. Cool. Uh, by the way, Lex, your ISP will have been restored full. Same with Senate. Your ISP will have been restored full. And Portland, your PPE will also be full. Oh, thank God. And Sir Luke, your Sweet. your PP will oh, probably right. have been restored as well. There, yeah. such such that it is, yes. Yeah, excellent. The massive amounts of PP that you have. <laughs> Cyber Knight without much psionics. <laughs> it's all right. You got the important ones. I, this is true. So, my character hasn't really been talking much. He's been pretty kind of aloof and uh, and kind of just sitting. You know, right now he's just sitting. Kind of gazing off into the, into the forest a little bit. All right. So you've just kind of 
taken your meals and eaten by yourself sort of thing or have you been mingling with people at oh, all no I've, I've 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 been eating i've been eating with people i've been and occasionally i'll chat with them but it's it's clear that i'm preoccupied okay fair enough all right what about senate um i mean on the whole i'd probably try and steer clear of the side stalkers which is not hard if they're going to stay in their area and i'm going to stay in my area um watching sir luke kind of mope around that's fun for a while but eventually i am probably going to have to corner him and strike up a conversation that he might not be overly pleased with <laughs> oh good maybe maybe I, I mean depending on depending on what he's into i don't i don't know Ooh. maybe he's i don't know but uh I don't know. I assume at some point he'll be astro projecting into the trees and I'll kind of walk up behind him and say, so I have a question. Yeah. What can I do for you? I don't know cyber Knights Well, as a, well, as an entity. Okay. Uh, what would you like to know? <clears throat> What's the best way to put this delicately? Are Cyber Knights known for being rash to the point of having a death wish? And I kind of I'll just kind of smile and go, no, but I get what you're coming from. Because, I mean, don't get me wrong. I would rather be standing beside you than in front of you, as it were combat wise but you could, you could just get to the point i was an idiot <laughs> you're no, right it's, this is <laughs> it's a longer pattern of behavior than just that final culmination we saw fighting the robots i assume that's what you're referring to well fighting a robot with mdc without wearing armor is blisteringly stupid i mean don't uh, get me wrong i appreciate I appreciate your faith in my abilities in that I assume you knew that I had more or less ceased really doing anything useful to focus and make sure that if you slipped even a moment that I would at least have a chance to try and save you. But at the same <laughs> time, that takes me out of a position to be otherwise useful. Uh, to be honest, I didn't even think about that at the time. I mean, oh, I do thank you for it, by the way. But before the I, town I, I went all thinking of it. <laughs> before the town went all sideways on us. Mm -hmm. I mean, they seemed like nice people, not worthy of being covered in splattered cyber night. Well, and that's kind of why I was doing what I was doing. Um, and it's you look, you, it's it's. I get it. It was, I was. <laughs> I was I was an idiot, but uh, the the reason why I did it is because I wanted to make sure as many people could get away as possible. And I don't have a death wish. I like being alive. But in the end, you know, my life or the life of the villagers, I think that was a fair trade. Uh, but it was foolhardy. I know that. Do what I could. Yeah. Ideally, I would have my armor on. <laughs> I mean, optimally, yes. But, I mean, even... Even having to talk you down from just charging into the Thornhead Demon's lair. This is sort of a pattern of behavior. There's a... There's a brashness. There's a lack of strategy. And... Well... Okay, I, appreciate, I appreciate your fervor, but at the same time... Doing what's right also involves recognizing one's own limitations, that whole relationship between discretion and valor and better parts, right? Right. Well, I, I, I think I must have mischaracterized myself when it came to the, the demon. Um, I have no interest in throwing my life away, or anybody's life away for that matter, 
without with any thought, right? Um, I, 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 and I still do, regardless of what we're doing now. I think I, whether you we we go together, or I go alone. I've got to go back and deal with that. Um, but I wasn't willing to go in without strategy. I mean, it just it just has to be done, and I'll explain my rationale. So, according to my ethos and the values I took on, and and I'll tell you, being a cyber knight, it's not easy. Like, there, there are things that you have to do that are, you know, not exactly conducive to self-preservation. Um, but you have to stand up for something, and you have to, you have to stand. Well, you have to stand for something. I can't say anything more than that, and. You know, I, I understand where people are coming from. They're saying that, well, okay, they were making sacrifices and that was keeping it at bay. Sure. I mean, for now, um, until it expands. And, of course, there's the issue of, you know, having to go there in the first place, leave the sacrifices. But I was also thinking about people who have no idea what's even there. I mean, yeah, they had at that, 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 that location, yeah, there were a bunch of heads of victims as warnings not to enter the territory but i can't imagine that the entire perimeter of the the ruins were surrounded by you know disembodied skulls Um, what happens if a family is passing through on a way to laszlo or someplace Um, they have no idea what's there they're completely defenseless completely they're going to be victims and it doesn't matter who they are man woman child this thing will destroy them and in the end, I look at that and say, well, you know, given my ethos, I need to try at least to do something to stop that. And whether I'm successful or not, whether I live or die or not, I mean, I still have to do it. Um, Which is entirely reasonable. And I certainly don't but... want to expect anybody else to. And again, I don't want to run into without a plan. That's that's not something I want, was going to do. I just wanted to be clear that it's something I have to do eventually, whether whether I have help or not. I don't expect anybody to help me, by the way. I mean, it's the uh, it's the eventuality nuance that you just picked up there. That's that's kind of what I'm leading to. Again, I don't know how long you've been a cyber knight. I don't know how powerful they end up becoming relative to where you are now. But I know what that thornhead demon is, and I know... It's yeah. pretty stacked. It's pretty it up is, there. It is very stacked. More powerful so me, than I am. <laughs> let me let me play through this scenario for you. I, had I, you I, gone in, had you played the big damn hero and valiantly sacrificed yourself on the altar of doing what's recklessly right. And I know precisely the direction you're going, but please proceed. How exactly does that help that outpost? It doesn't at all. Like I said, without a plan, it's just throwing your life away and it pisses off the demon and the demon goes looking for well, more than that i mean it's a question of expectations if you walk into a town enormous as you are and puff yourself out even more and set yourself to be again the big damn hero and you set that expectations of being the savior with these humble townsfolk who frankly see a barn on legs walking in saying he's going to save you that carries a certain amount of weight I get that. So for you to go and die immediately, that leaves them in a position of relative despair to right. say nothing of any other potential fallout. No, totally agree. And that's why I said when they said, you know, do, you know, get rid of it. I said, I will, what I can do, I will try to do. It doesn't mean I'm going to be successful, um, but I got to try. I would just caution you about, I, I won't, I don't. I honestly don't think you'd be a narcissist because that requires an intent entirely different than what you have. But a definite desire to be and present yourself as heroic. No, and, and I will just yeah. I will just caution you yeah. about the potential hubris, I suppose, that can that can factor into that. Mm-hmm. Because I may not always be there waiting in the wings with my finger on my temple ready to try and save you. Which again, I can't guarantee. And and I want you to know, I don't expect that. And I appreciate that you did, and I appreciate that you do. Um, and I, I I hope it doesn't cross come across as hubris. I hope it doesn't come across as 
as narcissistic. It's it's genuinely not my intent. But I'll, I'll kind of give you an idea of what the code is. We have a code of chivalry, right? So for me, when I see people who are suffering, these are things that come to mind immediately. So first of all, um, first in our code of chivalry is to live, right? Um, to live a, uh, to live for freedom, justice, and for all that's good. There's more to it than that, but you know we'll we'll start with that. Um, when it comes to the third tenet, right? It's nobility. Um, to administer justice, to protect the innocent. Uh, those are things that I come immediately to my mind when I see people suffering, and they were suffering. Uh, four, valor. Uh, defend the weak and innocent. Exhibit courage in word and deed. Now, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. The, the, the running into combat without armor against the robots, that was stupid. I mean, I had a reason for doing it, and I could justify it, but it wasn't smart. I, I get that. But avenge wrong, to fight with honor, um, never abandon a friend. For me, if I'd run away from 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 helping... For me, that would have been like, abandoning my friends, and I know they don't want us in that 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 settlement anymore. They're they're angry at us, uh, but they were friends. I mean, we were with them for a long time. We we helped. I helped them bring in the harvest. I mean, they were friends, and I couldn't Again, stand by helping. Helping is yeah. I I get that. I, is a broad I, term, right? Yes, I know. I know. And and in the moment, my way of helping was being a distraction while the others can get away potentially, and. I'm not saying it was a smart thing to do. I'm just saying it in the moment that was what I tried. Um, fifth is honor, right? It's uh, uh, maintaining one's principles. And even when those principles are not necessarily something that are conducive to living. Uh, and I don't want to put anybody else in danger, but I think that's really important. And respect for life. I mean, we saw heads of people who had been victims of this creature uh, these were people who had loved ones, people who cared for them, people who loved them, and they loved them. Uh, I, 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 I was. It was. It genuinely bothered me to see that, and I think it bothered all of us. I mean, God, you more than anybody else, you saw what 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 this thing did to them. I mean, you that would be nightmare fuel, and I couldn't even imagine putting myself in the position you put yourself in. And you know, I have a great deal of respect for that. Speaking um, of the impact. Anyways, speaking of the impact. Don't you do it. I just realized there's an insanities tab over here. Don't you do it. Oh, yes. So Don't you do it. What a wonderful segue, Sir Luke. Um, the th the four welcome. of you, the four of you as you spend time contemplating things on the ley line, um, your mind goes back to just the things that Sir Luke was mentioning. And I need each of you to give me uh, two saves versus insanity. The first one is from the trauma of accidentally causing or being unable to prevent the death of several innocent people. And oh, the second one is, um, is really that, um, an, an experience that leaves the character filled with an intense desire, uh, possibly for revenge. So the, if each of you would, would roll, uh, twice, for these uh, just on your saving throw tab on your sheet you'll find there's my first hey look at you go what's the me bonus oh that's already well. calculated in it'd be your okay, bonus from a, a high first. mental endurance and my second oh that's a good number i'm happy with that first number wait is high bad it'll tell you if you succeed or not okay so high is good okay that's good I have succeeded. And I'm sorry, you needed two think, of these? I don't think anybody yeah, else has. <laughs> two two of those. So Senate succeeded on his first one. I literally oh, oh, you just, twice. I can't. That's terrible. That 13, what a tease. All right. So Sir Luke, you Luke. are able to cope. Um, you're, you're obviously beating yourself up and in interiorizing this. Uh, but you're able to cope and come to terms with it. Senate, you are uh, you're able to come to terms with the destruction that happened there. You're sad. Uh, you realize just how you tried your best, right? You just realize how overwhelmed it was. Um, however, you are uh, 
it lingers there that <clears throat> you still have the possibility of being able to do something about this. And so I need you to give me a role. Um, I, I just role? want to point out that there's a great deal of irony in this, but I'm just going to leave it there. Yeah. Yeah. You may have Where struck some chords and talking with him, <laughs> but yes. uh, a percentile uh, role there. Senate. Fifty-two. So, you um, you have developed a bit of an obsession, and right now that obsession is, and this also goes back to your special quality, right? Your special human quality, which has to do with um, with that dominant personality, and it ties in with this. There's a there's a need now to it's it's almost an obsession with fame sort of you covet it for yourself you want to be famous or loved by multitudes of people uh for this for this cuz you said you respected me oh for being <laughs> for for being heroic right for being heroic it's the fact that you really want... i just finished accusing him of doing that <laughs> yeah yeah, I, I know. know i think like the God. irony of all this is awesome i love this it's fantastic <laughs> yeah like in a you're an adaptive GM that it's great, but it sucks balls. Yeah. So it's, it's that you, you, you heard your own words as you said them to Sir Luke. And then you, you kind of go back to it and it, you know, it, you, you resonates in your head and you're like, no, no, this is, you know, and you just keep envisioning the, the, the gratitude and thanks of the people for you and you're a selfish alignment. So it's not coming, it's coming from that desire for self as opposed to, uh, as opposed to other. So that's that's what you've got. So you do have that insanities area, and basically you have an obsession with uh, fame, right? You want to be famous uh, for saving people. Great. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> and let's see, who's next? That would bring us to Portland. I don't think you got any success, did you? Nada. No, right. I rolled two, three somehow. Uh, randomly, apparently. Yeah. All right. So the first I'm one. You bullshit. So as you meditate on the ley line, uh, the ley line has uh, you're drawing insight from the ley line, but it PPE when people die, uh, the potential psychic energy that they have doubles and flows to the ley lines. And as you open yourself to the ley line. Over the course of the next few days, the PPE from those who died nearby uh, enters into the ley line and some residual psychic energy starts to flood through and you start to, your mind goes back to how you might have, how things might have been different. Um, so you, you are affected by the trauma of not being able to prevent the death of innocent people because despite your, your tongue in cheek manner, you are a good person. And so I need you to give me a percentile check for that one. Okay. Which one's the percentile check? D100? Yep. Yep. A four. All right. You get... I'm only like so low. This is ridiculous. You get really angry. And you are... You are reborn. You are reborn. Um, the trauma has turned you into a different person. You have an alignment reversal. You oh, are fucking right. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. Oh boy. You're you're currently scrupulous, right? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. I don't like that laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! You're oh, fucked. No. Oh, fuck no. oh, God. I'm oh, gonna be no. famous for being murdered by an absolute <laughs> lunatic ley line walker. You're so fucked. <laughs> you're all, gonna die. all right. So, so you you can hop onto your character sheet, and where oh, you I'm on it already. yeah, where oh. you had where your alignment is, your scrupulous becomes aberrant. Oh Bruce. no! What? I'm so jealous. If I was aberrant, that'd be amazing. Aberrant, yeah. 
Oh, no, come on, can you diabolical? No, so <laughs> okay, yeah, bro, yeah, bro. Um, yeah, so you are uh you have to now take a look at um just what that um what that happens, but also I need you to give me another random roll. As your disposition uh percentile, sorry, your disposition also okay. changes. I hope you become on, super low. I hope you become super friendly. Just just Come make on. this super goddamn low friendly. as fuck. It's gotta be bad. It's gotta be bad. Come on, low as shit. Low, low or super Six. high. Six no. fifty eight. Let's see what that is. Oh. So fifty eight oh. is you come across as an all-around good person, kind, generous, oh, no. compassionate, and positive. Co- glasses usually half full, which isn't much of a deviation with all of your nice shots. What were you before? What was your disposition before? Oh, sorry, I clicked off of it. Oh, um, I think you were easygoing before. Yeah, oh, yeah. Easy so now you you come. Of a character. Yeah, your disposition is an all-around good person. But you are aberrant now. That means that your alignment is you are the um you've got a code. You're you don't you know, that's what you stick to and you know, you expect loyalty from people and punish disloyalty. You have your own twisted code of ethics. You always keep your word of honor. Batman. Yeah, you lie and cheat to those not worthy of your respect. Uh may or may not kill an unarmed foe. Never kill an innocent, particularly a child, but may harm or harass or kidnap one. Never torture for for pleasure, (laughs) but you'll use it to extract information and intimidate. Never kill for pleasure. You always have a reason for killing. May or may not help someone in need. Rarely attempt to work within the law. Break the law without hesitation. Have no use for the law or bureaucracy, but you respect honor, self-discipline, and the concept of law. Work with others to attain your goals. Usually take dirty money, though uh, your twisted code of ethics may prevent you from doing so, depending on what it is. But you will never betray a friend. Never. So, um, you are aberrant, and you come across as an all-around good person. Okay. Um, that's that's the effect that this trauma of those innocent people dying, I'd imagine you've just, it's steeled you in some way. And you've made up your mind that you need to do something different. I need you to make a percentile check for the other failed insanity check. Fucking right, you do. What the uh, hell, wolf in sheep's clothing? Fucking psychopath is this? 57. So. Wait, I failed both of them, too. Oh. Oh, you might want fame as well. <laughs> oh, no. You have become obsessed with oh, man with power you covet it for yourself yes above all others yes, for the yes, purpose yes. <laughs> for the purpose of needing to really just destroy anybody that plans on attacking anything that you hold dear right particularly the innocent right people that you couldn't defend before you won't let that happen again no holds barred right that's that's what it is so you crave power for the purpose of wielding it against those that would that would harm people under your protection. Okay. So those go under those go under you that insanity spot on the beginning of your your character sheet there, right? The first one is a is a, a complete alignment reversal. What's it called here? <laughs> a reborn, right? Reborn as a aberrant, uh, and then you also have an obsession with power. All right, let's see who else didn't do so hot. Uh, I believe oh, that, that was fantastic. That was, that was, oh that was amazing. God. I loved that. I believe that's Lex. This, All right. this, this guy with no opposable thumbs. <laughs> oh, you got opposable <laughs> thumbs. You got opposable thumbs. Don't you worry. Uh, so give us a roll there, percentile check there, Lex. Let's see what happened to you. 32. So I need you to uh, give me another percentile check. You get an obsession in addition to the other. 55 is fame. Unlike <sighs> unlike Senate, you shun fame. You don't want to be noticed. It's an amplification of your desire to not um, have those attachments. Right? You don't want to be put in the limelight. You don't want to be known. Now you, you shun that sort of... Um, 
that sort of desire to be loved. People started to like you and look what happened to them, right? So you, you're obsessed with, with shunning recognition and the like. So that's the first one. And we now- We're gonna tear ourselves apart. Oh my God. You know what, that's, I mean, that's pretty fitting though for Lex where he's like, he does not want to be noticed by anything, you but, know, less, because he's already been kind of shying away from anything that's remotely close to being coalition. Yeah, but now so, it's obsessive. Are, yeah, so. Um, you are not going to like me at the end of today. <laughs> so now another percentile check for a random obsession. This has to do with... Um, with the fact that, all right, all right, this has to do with that, the fact that these people were taken away from you, right? This is uh, dealing with a desire for revenge. 63% gives us a specific person. You're obsessed, <clears throat> you are obsessed with he. You want to bring down he, because he destroyed those people. Your alignment doesn't change. You don't want any recognition, but you're going to take this guy down because you're scrupulous, I think, right? So those are the things that you put in the insanity section on your sheet. Oh, Portland, the changes are going to be so interesting. Oh I'm no, it's, it's going to be awful. It's going to be him. <laughs> It's going to be Sir Luke just glaring at each other <laughs> over a bowl of stew. <laughs> Me trying to be nice to Lex, and Lex lining up just a headshot. Now the question is, will Portland stew become evil? I don't know. I don't Ooh, know. I it depends on who stirs the pot last, I guess. Oh. Hey, Golgi, can you yeah. switch yourself at the bottom of the chat? Oh, sure. I forgot to do that. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I goofed on that. Done and done. Here we go. Have I told you all three of you that I'm your friend or we're friends? I'm just curious. I don't know. Yeah, we're friends. You you've uh, said that. You said you said I'm your friend. I'm That's right. I did, friend. I did. I did. Yep. yep. Yeah. Have I said that to you there, Senate? I think so. Have I said that to you there, uh they're not Lex. Sorry. Have I said that to you there, Vahila? I think what? so. But we're that we're friends. I don't remember if we actually had that conversation yet or not. What is as Lex and as uh, Portland? I think yeah. it's when Lex and Portland were hanging no, out on the on the porch of that lady's house right at the beginning when you were yeah. saving okay. your son. So I'll make sure. I just want to make sure because well, good. Well, good. I'm very. I, I I did that on purpose throughout this game to make sure that I, <laughs> and that I made friends. So yeah, fuck these other guys. I'm gonna kill these other three. <laughs> well, they might be helping you in your goal, but regardless, I. Uh, when you come out of the trance, it will be a very different you. Not very different, but oh, yeah. slightly different. Um, yeah, those three are going to think we're nuts because everyone's moving around and getting squirrely. Except for me, I, I got to say, I find the irony in this is that, you know, the whole conversation is about me, you know, my, my, uh, uh, my obsessions here. And yet I'm perfectly normal. You're not obsessed. Yeah. I just fucking you're just, up. you're just yeah. committed. And yeah, committed. Uh, that's different. <laughs> and you've got a very high mental endurance save, right? Like a very high save yes. against insanity. Oh, yes. You're, you you went through training for this. You've trained for this. Yes. This is what you're <laughs> for, right? Um, I roll like shit. <laughs> but it was awesome. But um, yeah, so Lex, you as you brood, uh, the uh, Psy Stalkers come back over to you. Um, and they ask if you if you want to talk about the time you had with the coalition. Not really. I think, uh, I think we should just focus on a, on a plan for this, for this. E. Yeah. What happened, what happened before it doesn't matter. I, I just think we should, uh, you know, talk to James, get more information figure out a plan well we just want to be sure that we see things the same way if we come across any coalition we're not holding any bars I know that there's a uh, a, there's not necessarily a a hunt for me but there's a shoot on site if, if coalition sees me so 
that's that's going to get in the way of anything that I want to do. Well, they treated us like shit. They put us on the line, risked our lives to save theirs, dressed us in some fancy armor and oh. sent us out with dogs like you just to be slaughtered. We were expendable, and we said fuck that. So we left. So they're looking for us too. At least you live. At least you live some of your life away from the line. I was bred to be on the line. Yeah, which is why we're checking with you. We just want to make sure that you're on the level. That if if we run into those skull-faced bastards, they're going to be on the receiving end of a of a good ion blast. Well, I I know that if I run into them, it's kill or be killed. You're not too bad there, dog but boy. You you can tell which uh, which side of that I want to be on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We hear you. We no, hear you. I I think we gotta, you know, we gotta take down. We gotta go and take down this he for, for what he did to those people in that town. Sending those those robots after them. I guess sending them after James. But uh, those are good people. Those are innocent people. They helped me out. They helped out the rest of my group there. We we got to go take them down. Yeah. Those bots killed our friends. People we've been traveling with for years. We knew them really well. And uh, they were like family for us. So, you know, I'm happy to take down this mystery man, whoever he is, Jamie's buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Same here, says Sly. I mean, I don't, I don't really care of any, any recognition for it. We don't need to, be, I don't need to be written about or anything like that. I just, I just want to take this guy down, get mm. rid of him. That's all that matters right now. So let's make a plan. Well, before we do that, you want to go hunting? We could use a bite. Jeez, is that all you guys do is eat? We haven't eaten in we weeks. We need a plan here. This is, this is priority number one. Well, we can't really think straight I, be, being this close to the line with a, on an empty stomach. Well, I guess I can go, go hunt and, and see what I can get. But I'm not going for the same stuff as you guys. No, you can have the meat. We don't need that. Uh, I don't even know what I'm, uh, if I'm going to be looking on the same menu. Well, everything, everything with a, that bleeds can be killed and you can have the meat. We just need the PPE. All right, well, you talk to me before, before you bring something down. I'm not going to be eating just any meat. Well, if you can't eat it, that's fine. We'll give you whatever you need from our rations. But hopefully we find something sure. palatable to you. Sure. Let's Good. go. All right. Cool. So, <clears throat> uh, unless Senate and Sir Luke, you need to continue your debate or well i mean i've just expressed the reasons my rationale for my behavior and i also rec again like i said i mean he asked how long i've been a cyber knight look i will admit i've i'm not i haven't been doing this for very long it's been basically two years since i've been doing this so um i'm new i'm, I'm still trying to figure this out as well um but i take it really seriously and uh, as I said, I mean, I, I, I'm not, I don't want to throw my life away. Uh, that's, but you know, there's a commitment you make when you join Cyber Knights, and that's where I'm at. Well, I appreciate that, and you seem to be a man of morality and conscience, but I will caution you about your methods and suggest prudence. <laughs> And I, and, and I agree with you. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I mean, when I jumped into fighting that, that robot and uh, I started a few swings, I'm like, 
I should be wearing armor. Why am I not wearing armor? Um, yeah, so oh. I, I, that was foolish of me. I recognized it was foolish. It was not something was smart. It was a good, in the moment. It's a good lesson to learn now, particularly given what we may be facing down in the future. Yeah, you know, you're right. You're right. I'm just you're very right. I'm just glad I was there to help. I'm glad you were too. Thank you for that. I very much appreciate it. Well, it was, as a general concept, my pleasure. Well, like I said, if there's any chance I could do to repay that, I definitely will. I will bear that in mind, putting it in the bank. <laughs> you do that. Is this going to get stupid before it gets better? It is going to get very stupid. God. I'm not used to playing. Be play, I'm not used to playing a character that's, you know, the only sane person in the group. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> I like how we just finished this dialogue, and it's like, I'm the only normal one. Fuck you guys. No, no, outside the game, outside the game, outside the game, outside the game. Awesome. That's not Luke saying, that's, 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 that's Golgotha saying it. What did I do to be insane? What? Oh, that was a totally. Oh, you're not used to being the only. Oh, I got Yeah, you. exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Usually I'm the one who's got the issues. Like, oh, fuck, I rolled like that. No, I've got a character that can roll really well in that. So, yeah, that's, that's unusual. All right. I'm really worried about the wizard now. Oh my god! What's wrong with the wizard? I don't know yet. Uh, yeah, I don't know either. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Oh my god! All right. Um, I did want to have words at Lex, but I feel like he's gone now. So I'll well, just... he'll be back. I mean, this is this is transpiring over four yeah. days, right? So yeah, yeah have yeah, your yeah. words. Have your words with Lex. Go for it. Oh, uh, I basically it's just, just want to get a really high pitch whistle, and I'll hear it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I just want to kind of approach him, and I know he's generally a reserve sort, and say, uh, "Hey, in uh, in the outpost there, before the second group of bots showed up, was that you that tried lighting them up before I even saw them?" What from inside the uh, from the building somewhere there? Somewhere in in one of the buildings, I, I couldn't get a read on exactly who was shooting from where. I just saw yeah, a flash of light. Yeah, I was trying to take out that uh, that second wave. Well, I appreciate that because where we were, we couldn't see it at all. And if they had continued, they would have blindsided us completely, which probably would have made for a bad day. Probably would have. Are you... That's... I mean, you seem in one piece, but the building seemed to take a hell of a beating. You all right? Yeah. Yeah, I think we just got to go after this, uh, this he, him, whatever, whatever James is talking about. We got to, we got to make him face some amends for what, uh, what he did to those people. Yeah, I think I can get behind that. But again, I just yeah, wanted right, to be yeah. clear. I, uh, I recognize the risk you took on doing that and I appreciate it. You guys have, you guys have taken some risks for me, so. That's fair, I suppose. Isn't that what isn't that what this is about? We take risks for each other. Yeah, but again, you never really know with some people, right? And I'll kind of look at the two uh, nippleless boobs. Size stalkers, probably. I don't know. Moping around. Well, nobody, nobody here has uh, sold me down the river to the coalition, so. And as long as that doesn't happen, there are people that I can trust. Yeah, I don't think you have to worry about me running to the coalition on account of them putting holes in me. So we we have that in common. Oh, that's right. So no love lost here, I suppose. All right, so are we making a plan? I mean, getting the bots patched up is probably a good start. Trying to kit ourselves out a little better. It's a good second move, and then... I guess it's up to James to start acting like a half robotic human compass. All right. So but uh, I, I, can, I don't know what to make of him either. I was going to say, if you're going to get to planning, yeah, if you're going to get to planning, we can fast forward to when Portland comes out of it. Okay. Well, I was just going to say, like, I have, I have a little bit of mechanics, a little bit of electronics. 
I don't know if I can work on some of the uh, some of that armor. No, it's outside of your scope. Your scope. You would need mechanical engineering and electrical engineering, or, or robotics right. engineering. Yeah, it's that's not a thing I can really deal with. I mean, I could take a look at it, but that'd be about all I can do. I think. Mm -hmm. Just be me banging rocks together, if anything. All right. So we'll we'll fast forward then to the end of the four days. Uh, the the Psy stalkers have gone their hunt and were successful in finding some game, some deer and the like. Uh, they they kind of hover over the creature as it dies and inhale. Right, they're just kind of taking in the psychic energy from the creature as it as it fades. You get the meat, Lex, and you guys all eat well. Portland, you you come back to the world around you. You feel. Uh, enlightened, but also resolved now as you slowly descend in the ley line back to the ground. As I descend, can I, like, make some lightning come down just, like, as I descend, just to give like, myself a little bit of presence because I'm really still pissed off? Yeah, I feel for sure. So powerful. For sure, you test out your yeah. tendril bolt with the excess PPE from the ley line. And, uh, yeah. yeah, just kind of crackles around you. Look like Raiden coming down. Yeah. Yeah, and, I want to uh, be like I, th I feel myself more like a uh, like a Black Adam now. Cool, oh, <laughs> cool analogy. So uh, the the six of you, I guess, the two size stalkers, Old Jack, and the rest, uh, I guess, seven, including James T. Um, yeah, Portland begins to descend, and then you can hear like the zodding and crackling of of the elect of the like kind of magical electrical energy in the ley line. Uh, Lex, you're your uh, senses are piqued by the use of a magic spell in proximity and your attention is drawn immediately to Portland. Same with the two, uh, the rest of you attend as you see their gazes turn and Portland comes r settling on the ground, surrounded by the crackling of magical energy. I have an overabundance of ISP from being near this thing, right? Uh, no, yours, uh, you're full and then you accumulate 1d6 plus one or two every round that has to be used that round. It's different than magic. Oh. Yeah. I'll say, cool, you have lightning too, and then I'll fire electrokinesis up in the air. Okay. Yours looks different than his. His oh, is it uh, does. Yeah, very different. Yours is electricity. His is uh is kind of appearing from the the material of the ley line and and arcing toward him as opposed to away. Hmm. Cute. Let's think of the same thing. And then I'll look at the other two and be like, what do you guys got? So, so what? 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 I, I could lift things really heavy. All right. So there, <laughs> there Portland is. There you guys all are. Lex, I know you want to plan. So old Jack says, well, this won't be my first raid. Won't be my first uh, target either. Before we got into the sideshow business, Raz, Sly, and I, we were we were guns for hire. We we had a few jobs. We tried to put those days behind us, but I suppose we got it in us for one more mission. So, I say we head to the Relic, see how we can get ourselves out, and then follow Jimmy's directions to, well, to wherever the hell he came from. It's got to be over by the eastern wall, eh, Jimmy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That way. And he points east. I think we're doing more than a raid out here. Yeah, this is yeah. more more like a hit. I'd well. like to bury them in that wall, in that, in that cave if we can. Make sure they're never a threat again. Well, then we're going to need some heavy explosives. I don't think mm -hmm. we'd be able to buy them as readily as we might be able to steal them. Coalition. I can't steal anything. Well, let's just consider it liberating them then from, from some less trustworthy folk. We'll tell, we'll tell you what. We'll tell you what. We'll we'll find a creative means of negotiation, and we'll get back to you when we have something. I think. 
you know what? I figure if, if we steal it, then that's something that's, you know, one less explosive, one less weapon that he can steal to, uh, to inflict more pain and suffering on people. I don't I think they're, I don't if think anything, we're talking about stealing from that from the from from he. I think we're talking about stealing to blow up he, and I I can't do that. If we find a way that we could get it honestly, I will definitely do that. Um, but we have to find a way to do it honestly. Yeah, well, we'll but guess but guess what? He he doesn't care if he steals from people. He doesn't no. care if he kills them and takes it. I agree. He doesn't and think. think Think about the purpose that, like, if we steal from somebody, think about the purpose that we're stealing from them. We're stealing I, from them to defeat me. The he ends doesn't care about anybody else. The ends they, justify the means. They, the ends do not justify the means. We could do it another way. So I, I'm, I'm, I agree with you. We're going to do this, but we could do it in a way that we don't have to commit a crime to do it. So I'm just, well, then, I'm just going to leave it that. Well, uh, then when we get when we get ready for combat, you can put your head in the sand. No, I'm sure about, I'll go out with Sly and Rasputin, and we'll we'll get supplies. It's and, not about uh, putting head in the sand; it's about doing we'll, the right thing. So, old Jack we'll puts up his hand, says, "Now, hold on, boys. We don't need to tear ourselves apart here. Listen, what kind of love you've got for the coalition, Sir Luke? None. Well, I don't think you'll mind then liberating some CS fusion blocks from an armor depot." Will ya? I'm not going to say anything because I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm conflicted. Yeah, I didn't think so. And he looks over at Portland. What about you? Got any qualms about liberating some coalition tech to do some serious damage to this mysterious he? Not anymore. That's the spirit. Let's kill this thing. I like the way that you're talking. The two Psy Stalkers look at each other, then uh, look at Sir Luke and Senate. Old Jack looks over at Senate. And you? And me what? Think you can liberate some wares from the Coalition? Oh, I think they could stand to have less armaments. Good. Sounds like we're agreed, boys. Then let's head over to Relic and see what we can find. And then let's go visit the Coalition. But with that, we will end it for now. Uh, Thank you all for tuning in. For those of you that haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, please. Because we want you to always know when our next video is going to come so we can hear from you again down below in the little text beneath the video or if you want to join us on our discord we'd love to have you it'd be a great time and uh, we have lots of fun there we're sharing lots of memes cracking lots of jokes (laughs) but also talking lots of crunchy rift stuff we've been kind of analyzing some stuff there so yeah if you got nothing to do come hang out with us at discord but always make sure you tune in for our next show because i'm magnum pie with teku golgotha vahilo and dark templar and we are initiative zero 